What's up guys, Anbuf here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today, as you guys have read the title, I'm bringing you guys a cinematic color grading tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro without the use of any LUTs and basically we're gonna dive into a couple of footages and I'm gonna show you how I would grade the footage depending upon the look that I would go for. I really hope that this helps a lot of you guys trying to learn color grading or you know trying to grade your videos in a better way in Premiere Pro. So if this video interests you, be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and without any further ado let's get started Alright guys, so the first thing that you want to do is open up Adobe Premiere Pro and import all your footage into the timeline like I have here. Now I've also created a sequence matching the settings of the timeline to help me edit this better. And the first thing that you want to do to start the color grading process is right click on the project tab, hit on new item and create a new adjustment layer. Now an adjustment layer is an empty layer that you can drop on top of all the footage and you can stretch it out and you can stretch it out like this to make sure it covers your entire timeline and essentially the use for this is that we're going to be applying all the color grade and whatever we'll do the adjustments onto the adjustment layer and not on the footage itself now this is a very good practice because a you don't want to grade every single clip individually and that's going to be a very long process depending upon the number of clips that you have and b in case you want to change any single thing you can directly adjust the adjustment layer without having to go into individual clips so this is a very you know useful thing to do just create an adjustment layer and we're good to go now once you've created the adjustment layer and it's on top of all your footage on the timeline like the way i have it set up here what you want to do is navigate to the color tab which is going to be the next option after the editing tab now in case uh, you know the color tab is not visible here or you don't have this bar what you want to do is go to window workspaces and hit on reset to saved layout this is going to you know reset it to premiere's native layout and then you should see the color option here so what you want to do is go to the color tab click on it and it's going to open up uh, this bar on the right hand side of the screen over here You'll see something called Lumetri color and this is essentially where we'll be dialing in the look of the color grade that we want So the first and foremost thing is to decide what kind of look you're going for a lot of us seem to you know Just apply the teal and orange LUT and seem to call it a day Well, that is not color grading that is blindly copying and pasting a LUT on a footage Which let's say doesn't even match to so what you want to do is go through all of these sections individually to find out a look that works for you now for me you can see that the first footage is a footage of this girl smiling on camera and I'm just gonna increase the resolution of this so you guys can see the full resolution and the kind of look that I want here is going to be a very moody and uh, you know very orangey warm tones is what I'm looking for and this is again something that you get to decide depending upon the look of the video that you're going for so for me I'm going to be dialing in that warm moody look so what we're gonna do is go to the first thing or the first tab and this is called basic correction over here you can you know change things such as your temperature and your tint now since I said I want a moody look I'm going to be pushing this the temperature a little bit to the right side to make it you know more warm and yellowish in nature you know feel free to you know completely uh, play around with the sliders because that is when you'll understand but once you know what it does uh, don't go too overboard because it completely ruins your image so something about 12 or 13 uh, looks good and to quickly you know adjust or see the changes that you have made you can obviously put up the same video on the source tab so you can compare it left and right so this is what we've done right now I'm gonna leave the tint as it is next we get to the tone section which is uh, which has a lot of other settings like the exposure the contrast highlights shadows and stuff like that now these are settings that you have to play around with if you think the footage is exposed properly you can leave this as it is or you know you can play around with it in, until you're satisfied with now the next thing I'm gonna do is dial in some contrast because obviously this footage is lacking a lot of contrast since it seems to be uh, you know shot in a flat profile so somewhere around 50 to 60 looks good then you've got the highlights which alter the brightest parts of the image such as such as her skin tone uh, we're gonna give this a little boost and uh, you know you can also increase the shadows which are the dark parts but to get that punchy image I'm gonna actually drop the shadows down a bit again the whites are the whitest areas of the image uh, you can increase them or decrease them depending upon the look you're going for I'm just gonna increase them just a bit 
and the blacks are the darkest parts of her image so it's gonna affect her hair and stuff like that so we're gonna you know you could dial it down a bit to get that dark look or you could increase it a bit again since this is shot in a log profile or a flat profile I'm gonna dial it down a bit to you to you know get a little bit of that contrast going might even increase the contrast a bit and now you can see that this is the adjustments that we've made uh, in uh, the basic correction tab and this is what we were before so you can quickly ch click on this check mark button and already you can see that we've started dialing in the look that we want to next up the last option here is the saturation now i usually keep this as it is because i like to adjust the saturation and the creative tab now we go to the creative tab the first thing you're going to see here is something called the look and this is essentially where you can dial in a certain lot to you know base your grade off of however today's video is going to be grading without any sort of lot so you guys can actually understand what every single option allows you to do so we're going to leave this blank Next up we've got the adjustments, you can add a little bit of faded film here to give it this uh, you know, faded retro look but I'm not going to do that. You can sharpen up your footage or you can make it soft depending upon what you want to do. I'm just going to put a little bit of sharpening. Uh, vibrance and saturation, now this is something I really like playing with. I usually reduce the vibrance and increase the saturation. Uh, it gives it this really different effect you guys can see before and after. Uh, it reduces uh, the vibrance of the colors but by reducing it and also increasing the saturation you get this really nice blend of colors that appears to look really good next we've got these two color wheels that allows you to modify the shadow tint and the highlight tint uh, you can uh, select a particular color here uh, to dial in a particular tint and uh, you know you can do that you can dial in your classic teal and orange by simply navigating to the colors but i'm not going to do that you can double click on it uh, to reset everything and as you guys can see this is the basic look that we have dialed in here next up we're going to go to the curve section now this is where the magic happens as far as adobe premiere pro is concerned all these different curves that you see is where you can control different colors and their hues and their luminances now as i said i'm going to be going for a warm moody look and in that you usually don't see a lot of blues so all these blues have to go away so what I'm gonna do is go to the first one which is the hue versus saturation and you want to select a particular hue for example the blues here that I have selected click on it uh, to find a marker and then I'm gonna pull this down so that the blues as you guys can see get desaturated in the image but wait what did that happen it desaturated the greens as well as her face well don't worry you can again create markers by tapping on the selective colors and again hit and increase them so that only those colors get desaturated and not the greens as well as the blues so this is where you saturate them again and right off the bat you can see that we took off the colors of her uh, you know clothing we dialed that down and increased the skin tone uh, to get more of a natural look so that is what we're going to do here next up we've got the hue versus hue tab and this is where you can change a particular hue so if you want to change the hue of let's say the trees you can obviously select this marker and you know select the colors over here and you can change the color of the trees to anything that you want if you're looking for a more reddish tone that you guys can see that we can dial it in here or you you can make it more green now i'm going for a moody look so i'm going to dial that in a little bit more and again i'm going to dial in a little bit of the oranges as well so we're going to select the green section dial that in just just a little bit you can select it here all right so next up we've got the hue versus luma section and this is essentially where you can dial in the different colors and the brightness levels of those colors so let's say that i want uh, to you know bring up the color of her skin tone then i can just select the eyedrop tool click on her skin and then you know proceed to increase these levels so that her skin tone gets brighter now as you guys can see that this is how her skin tone will get bright and you can just dial this look in however if you want to you know reduce the colors of her hair make it let's say extremely black you can again use the eyedrop tool and decrease these colors to make sure that they are extremely dark and black so that is what you can do All right, next up we've got Luma versus Saturation and Saturation versus Saturation. I usually don't really play around with these things. 
and last but definitely not the least you've got a vignette option which is somewhere where you can dial in the vignetting now i usually like to dial in a little bit of vignetting since it draws a lot of attention uh, you know to my uh, subject and uh, yeah a little bit about 0.6 looks really good and once you you know formed a base of the grade that you want to do as you can see this is before and after what you want to do is again go to the basic correction and play around with everything again to make sure that what you've done uh, you know looks good so you can dial in everything back and you know this is essentially what color grading actually is it's playing around with everything and playing around with the settings unless you're satisfied with them so i'm going to play around with everything once again to make sure that you know it looks really good we're going to dial back the exposure a bit increase the contrast uh, probably yeah that looks good uh, increase uh, the colors a bit to again more warm tones and you can configure the different colors here so if you wanted a warmer tone you could increase uh, the white balance uh, towards uh, the yellowish uh, field and you can see that it already looks a lot lot better now next we again go to the creative section you could reduce the vibrancy more if you wanted to and increase a little bit of the saturation as far as the tints are concerned you can obviously apply tints as well and what i'm noticing here is that uh, you know i want to turn uh, these green elements of uh, the tree uh, into a more brownish color and for that i think what i have to do is uh, dial in the hue versus hue so i'm going to select the trees here uh, as you guys can see using the eye drop tool i'm going to select the greens and i would like to change it to a warm brownish you know theme I'm trying to find the exact color that i'm looking for and you want to make sure that you don't mess up her skin tone because again that is something that you would definitely not want to mess up so you you want to keep that as natural looking as possible and as true to life as possible so as you guys can see we've dialed in that brown look and before this 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 was green and it wasn't really brown so that's how you dial in that look and if we do a quick before and after comparison if we go back you can see that this was the grade before and this is what is after and this is without using any sort of luts or anything of that sort now if we move on to the second clips uh, you can see that this is what it does uh, to the other clips as well however you it's it's not particularly sure that you would want to do uh, the same sort of grading with all the different clips that you have it just works for this particular clip however the entire purpose of this video was to show you guys how you can play around with these settings to get the kind of look that you're looking for and well guys that is pretty much it for today's video if you guys did enjoy it please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel comment below on some other tips if you're a pro color grader or a colorist and i will definitely catch you guys next time until then this is anubhav signing out you guys have a great day peace out